The 2024 Geography pre-release booklet this year is exploring the issue of the housing shortage in England and puts forward a proposal of a new housing development site called the Tudley Village Developments. This exam will be on the 14th of June 2024. Your teacher will be providing you with the booklet in school and you will have time to study the issue before you sit the actual exam. We start with figure one, which introduces the issue of a housing shortage across England. The National Housing Federation, NHF, suggests that England needs an extra 340,000 new homes per year to meet the current demand from the growing population. The government has provided an ambitious target of building a new 300,000 homes by 2025. However, this would still not be enough to solve the current growing problem. The graph on figure one shows the housing supply has gradually increased since 2012, which indicates houses are being built. But of course, they are not being built fast enough. The housing shortage in England is causing a number of social and economic problems. According to the National Housing Federation, 8 million people are living in unaffordable or unsuitable homes. There is a growing problem of homelessness and overcrowding. These growing issues are leading to health problems and children not having the best start to life. The housing shortage is made worse in some regions of England due to the government spending less money on housing and community amenities compared to others. For example, the table in figure one shows that the government spends £203 per head in London but only £77 per head in the South West. The map in figure one clearly shows the regional distribution of projected household growth in England. There is a clear divide between the north and south of the country. A number of large cities across the South East and Midlands are expected to see more than 15% housing growth over the next 10 years. But the north of the country will only see up to 10% of projected housing growth. This is taken further by exploring the relationship between the average house price in some regions compared to the average household income. It is quite clear to see the pattern. Regions that have a higher average salary, such as London, will experience higher house prices. In London, the average salary is just over £30,000 per person and house prices are just over £477,000. Whereas in the North East, average house price is only 127000 and the average salary is 17000 It's not just more housing that is needed, but more affordable housing. The bar graph in figure one clearly shows how much affordable housing which has been built since 2008. The National Housing Federation recommends the population needs at least 145,000 affordable homes a year. But yet, 
The bar graph shows that not enough affordable homes are actually being built. Research shows there is space for 1.3 million homes on brownfield land. Brownfield land is land that has been used before, maybe for industry, and is no longer serving its use. However, as the figure explains, property developers prefer not to use brownfield land because it is cheaper to use greenfield land instead. The example that is provided is the area of Trafford in Greater Manchester, where the council of the city is proposing a new development of 5,000 new homes, warehouses and a new road network on Carrington Moss, an area of peatland, woods and farmland. And this development is going ahead despite there being plenty of brownfield land in the surrounding area. The countryside charity CPRE believes there would be a huge social economic growth and benefits to building on brownfield sites as it will help to regenerate the local area. This debate has always existed regarding developments on brownfield versus greenfield sites. If developments take place on a greenfield, then it will be more cheaper, but worse for the environment. If the development takes place on brownfield, then it will be better for the environment, but it will cost more money. This is because normally the brownfield site needs to be cleaned up before any development takes place. At the end of figure one, there is a section explaining that urban sprawl, the growth of our urban areas, is gradually destroying England's countryside. This is linked directly to population increase, which increases demand for the development of new living spaces. Take the time to go through these questions with your teacher. These questions refer to figure one and they could be similar to the questions you get in the actual exam. Work with your teacher and write out potential answers to these questions. Using information from the pre-release booklet to support your answers. Figure 2 introduces the new proposed development of Tudley Village. This would be a new garden settlement on land between Tunbridge and Paddock Wood in Kent. The landscape is currently used for farming. To the south of the site is an area of protected land called the High Weald. Guys, I'm interrupting your geography lesson for 60 seconds only. Stay with me, listen to me. You're probably watching this video now because you are studying at GCSE Geography. Am I right? Yes? Good. Now, are you struggling with your revision? Do you not know what to revise? Are you struggling with structure, with time management, with exam skill? If any of these things apply to you with your revision, help is at hand. Presenting a brand new, online tuition platform designed to help every school pupil towards exam success in their GCSE geography. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the Genius Geography Guide. If you would like further details about this amazing online platform, click on the link below this video and all the details will be there. Now back to your video. 
This new village will be a self-contained settlement of different neighbourhoods organised around a village centre. The design of the village is aiming to help residents live more sustainably. The key features of the village include housing, 2,800 new homes to be built over a 30 year period. This will include homes of different sizes and styles, including affordable housing. The village will serve a range of uses such as offer leisure and business opportunities including offices, workshops, cafes and shops. There will be plenty of open space including allotments and a village green. A sense of community will be developed through the building of a nursery and secondary school, village hall, healthcare facilities and a sports centre. It will also be easy for people to get around due to the development of new footpaths, cycle tracks and roads. All of these features are shown on the Tudley Village Plan in Figure 2. Take some time with your teacher to study this. Figure 2 provides an OS map showing the outline of the proposed village, including the location of the proposed railway station. Once again, take time with your teacher to study this map and look for key features on the map. For example, how many separate farms can you identify within the proposed area? Figure two finishes by providing a brief overview of the High Weald, an area of outstanding natural beauty. This area is and always has been very popular with people using it for walking and other leisure activities. The concern for local groups is that with a new housing development, the population will significantly increase and this will put more strain on this fragile ecosystem, which is described as being internationally important for conservation. Take the time to go through these questions with your teacher. These questions refer to figure two. This could be similar to the questions you get in the exam. Work with your teacher and write out potential answers to these questions using information from the pre-release booklet to support your answers. Figure 3 provides different views on this new housing development. It starts by pointing out that the village will have a focus on sustainability, which means the development will be good for the local population, support the economy and protect the environment for future generations. A map is provided showing the location of different developments that are planned. The map shows the location of a new railway station. Within a 10 minute walk from anywhere in the village. A cricket club. A solar farm will generate electricity to power homes ancient woodland and countryside will be protected existing heritage buildings will be preserved and protected and a traditional village green will serve as a perfect meeting place 
So overall, the first part of figure three paints a positive picture of this new development for its residents. The second half of figure three highlights the concerns people have about this new development, such as the destruction of the rural landscape and the threat that the village will turn into another commuter town where people will live but will still commute into London for work. This of course would lead to additional traffic and parking problems. A local campaign group has concerns that the development will create urban sprawl between Tunbridge and Paddock Wood. The chairman has expressed concerns that there will not be appropriate infrastructure for the increasing population. For example, the railway station will not be built until 1900 houses have been completed. And until then, there will be an increase in traffic congestion throughout the area. The campaign group highlighted the following factors that they feel make the proposed development unsuitable and unsustainable. The site included hedges, woodland and pathways used by members of the public. Existing electricity and sewage systems will not support the growing population. Increased pressure on services such as schools. The B2017 road already experiences traffic congestion. The development may take business away from nearby villages, forcing them to close down. The new housing will be too expensive for local people forcing them out of the area. Take the time to go through these questions with your teacher, which all refer to figure three. These questions could be similar to the questions you get in the actual exam. Work with your teacher and write out potential answers to these questions using information from the pre-release booklet to support your answer. So there we have it. Now, really important, in your exam, you will need to have an answer to the following question. Do you think the proposed housing development should go ahead? Yes or no? And explain your reason. Now, do take the time with your teacher in school to go through this question and explore the options. Hopefully this video has been useful. If it has, please do subscribe to the channel for more supportive videos like this one to help you achieve the best grade possible in your geography GCSE. Thanks for watching and best of luck in your exam.